Hey my dental army, it's your favorite dental nerd from the Enamel Planet back at it again with another video. I hope you are all doing amazing. Today's video is going to be a little different because I am filming this early in the morning. Why you ask? Because I've got a busy day ahead and I need to get this video edited and posted by this evening. So please excuse my sleepy voice and let's dive right into today's topic. Wisdom teeth. The teeth that make you feel that you are finally growing up. Or at least that's what they tell you. In this video, we are breaking down the science behind wisdom teeth. Why do we have these pesky molars? Why they are called what they are and what they can tell us about our evolutionary past. So get ready to learn and let's get to the root of the matter. Have you ever wondered why they are called wisdom teeth? It's a bit of a misnomer, really. The name comes from the fact that they typically emerge during a person's late teens or early 20s, a time when they are thought to be wiser than they were in their youth. So despite their name, wisdom teeth don't actually make you any wiser. Sorry folks. But they can cause a lot of trouble if they don't have enough room to emerge properly. In fact, many people develop painful infections or damage their surrounding teeth as a result of their wisdom teeth. Now let's talk about some of the fascinating researches about wisdom teeth. Back in the day, our ancient relatives had larger jaws and needed more teeth to grind down tough fibrous food. But as our diets changed and became more refined, our jaws started to become smaller, leaving less space for wisdom teeth. So if wisdom teeth are no longer necessary for our survival, why do we still have them? Well, that's a question that scientists are still trying to answer. Some researchers believe that wisdom teeth may have played a role in human evolution, perhaps by providing a backup set of teeth in case of damage or loss. But let's be real, the real reason why we still have wisdom teeth is so that dentists can make a living. Whoa! Just kidding. In all seriousness, if your wisdom teeth is causing you any pain or discomfort, it's probably time to get them removed. And who knows, maybe you'll gain some wisdom in the process. Three, two, one! I'm so excited to share some fun facts about wisdom teeth. One recent study found that wisdom teeth can actually be a source of stem cells, which could be used to repair damaged or diseased tissues in the body. In fact, researchers were able to extract stem cells from wisdom teeth and use them to grow bone, cartilage and different tissues in the lab. Another study suggests wisdom teeth may be a sign of human evolution in action. They found out that people with smaller jaws are more likely to have impacted wisdom teeth, which can cause pain, swelling and infections. This suggests that our jaws are evolving to become smaller over time, which could eventually lead to disappearance of wisdom teeth altogether. But don't get too excited about the prospect of never having to deal with wisdom teeth again. Even if they do disappear, we'll probably find something else to complain about. In the meantime, if your wisdom teeth are causing you any trouble, it's always a good idea to see your dentist and get them checked out. Did you know that some people never develop wisdom teeth at all? It's true. In fact, about 35% of the people are born without wisdom teeth. <laughs> Another interesting fact about wisdom teeth is that they can actually be used to determine a person's ancestry. Anthropologists and forensic scientists can study the shape and structure of wisdom teeth to help identify the geographic origins of human remains. And if you're looking for a fun fact to impress your friends, here's one. The scientific name of wisdom teeth is third molars. That's right. Wisdom teeth are just another type of molars located at the very back of our jaws. In some cultures, it's traditional to keep wisdom teeth as a memento of sorts. For example, in Korea, it's common to have your wisdom teeth extracted and then keep them in a jar or a special box as a sign of maturity. Wisdom teeth are not the only teeth that can cause problems. In fact, any teeth can become impacted or infected if they do not have enough room to grow properly. That is why it is important to see your dentist and get any dental issues taken care of right away. Finally, here is a fun fact that's not directly related to wisdom teeth. Did you know that an average person spends about 38.5 days brushing their teeth over the course of their lifetime? That's a lot of brushing. So whether you've got all four wisdom teeth or none at all, there's always something new to learn about these fascinating molars. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two about wisdom teeth, even if they don't actually make you any wiser. Remember, 
Taking care of your teeth is important at any age. So make sure to brush, floss and see your dentist regularly. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And I'm always looking for new ideas. So what would you like to watch in my next video? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.